All right, clear. Have you seen the weevils? They're everywhere. <laughs> My God, there's yeah. so many red shrimp. Back off. Well, I was attacked by a sea cow. Just swim, go. <laughs> I'm Elena, and this is Riley, and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. So, we just got back to our boat here in the Selamaris Marina on the northwestern end of Long Island. We had the best time at the Wuchamur Cup, but we're excited to get settled back in and go have a few more water-based adventures. Hopefully the jet lag will be less severe this time around. We are leaving the marina. We've just, just packed lightly with the baby. Leftover wine from last night. Giddy up. Can't have that go to waste. We're leaving the marina, sailing south so that we're closer to the blue hole. Got a fair few jobs done on the boat here whilst we were in town. Ah. What? Just bird poo. Right. So now this is going to be quite difficult because Elena has to drive with Lenny in a... What's up? And I have to put away all this stuff, then run around, throw all the ropes on, push us out at the last minute, and we got to do it quickly because it's high tide now and this is quite shallow here. Let's do it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right, clear. Riley's wet ear pod never recovered, by the way. He's been using one after I had to hide mine because he was trying to make mine his, which was never going to happen. And now my time's open, I've saved myself for your control. Going into about between 15, uh, between 14 and 17 knots. We're going at when it was lower. We were going at about seven and a high of about nine. So and we were just tacking right into it. Just very very nice. And on the leeward side of the island, so it's nice and calm, beautiful. Uh, just classic Bahamas waters, two meters deep the whole way, three meters deep, and yeah. Beautiful. It really was. It, I was just like, I don't know, I just had an awesome time. Mm. Took all day though. Riley's determined to, well, he's potty training Lenny. It's called elimination communication. And this morning he's been run, running around. Every time he thinks Lenny's doing a wee or a poo, he just, he's bolting around, ripping off his nappy and running to the toilet. And it's just about one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Oh dear. There's been a few uh, close calls. There has been a few close calls. Yeah, we're just trying to use less nappies, so that's Riley's job today while I edit. <laughs> it's very hard to concentrate.
Is it time to go home? We're just talking about the future of where we see fishing off the dock. Yeah, they must have yeah, cast out and just got it caught on our thing. And I'm going to use that to hook out the junk. <laughs> Hello. Hey, mate. How you going? Oh, there's just a few breaks in the netting, so I'm just making a mess of tidying it up. Have you seen the weevils? Have you seen the weevils? <gasps> They're everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop our favourite music because weevils have taken over our pantry. It's really gross. Everything's ruined. Our pasta's ruined. Our packets of biscuits are ruined. Oh, maggots. I'm not even kidding. What you doing? Replacing these wires here. They're all... When you shoot a fish, the, when the slip tip goes through it, if it spins off, it twists all your wire up, and especially if it's been caught around rocks or whatever, just got to replace all of the wires on the slip tips every now and then. Just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, as you guys know, I'm starting a swimwear line. The swimwear is made out of plastic being pulled out of the ocean, and 100% of profits are going to go to charity. So uh, I wanted to make an announcement on the name. I've decided to call it Vagabella Swim. So, a little bit of Vagabond in there, but also Bella, which is beautiful. <laughs> Just kind of fit. Vagabella Swim. So yeah, you can follow that on Instagram, vaga.bella.swim. I'll put the link in the description below. And yeah, um, the swimmer will be coming soon. Probably not for a little while, but yeah, if you're interested in um, supporting a good cause, give it a follow. I think you guys will really like the swimmer, hey? It's like all of the best swimmer that I've seen around the world. I've tried to like put that into the designs. I'm pretty happy with them. Probably the most exciting part about the swimmer is that I've made like mummy and me. <laughs> like sets so me and Lenny are going to be matching um, boys and mamas and little girls and mamas that's going to be really cool until Lenny's about 16 and sees photos of us matching but yeah really cute so for those of you who may have missed the big spiel um, this year I felt like a, a pull in a certain direction and I just feel like I really need to help people help the oceans and um, just do a bit more of something awesome <laughs> and none of it would be possible without you so thank you guys so much for supporting us for all these years for watching these videos for liking the videos thanks for making a girl's dreams come true all right thank you where are you going I'm gonna come help dad. Come on then. Come on, Papa. 
Was denn da? Come on. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Mom lost her hat. Will Dad save the day? We headed into land to rent a car because we had a fair few errands to run and we'd been told about this place called the Shrimp Hole. A hole with shrimp, yes. We'd need to drive a fair way to get there. Luckily the hire cars are super cheap here and they come and meet you wherever you are on the island. It's pretty awesome. Long Island, being not one of the most touristy of islands in the Bahamas, still has that small town hospitality to it. And potholes. Just dropping into the DHL here. We found a post office that uh See, we've heard it's functional, but it doesn't look it from the outside. <laughs> right, so we found the abandoned church, and apparently there's a path behind this church that leads to a shrimp hole. The shrimp hole. We're on the hunt for the shrimp hole. Shrimp salad, <laughs> shrimp potato, shrimp burger, shrimp sandwich. That's, that's about it. I can see the shrimp hole. My goodness, this is so cool. And if those noises are all flies, we're gonna have a good time here. Whoa. Oh my goodness, this is the coolest caterpillar. Hi. Six months old, it's the first time you've been sunburnt. I'm sorry, mate. There are shrimp everywhere. <laughs> oh, I feel the breeze like a hand to the shoulder. Oh my god! There's yeah. so many red shrimp. There is sun in my eyes. We stopped by the marina we'd previously stayed at because Jill sent us a text message saying that the local manatee was around and we should go say hello. The Bahamians really love their manatees. This one's named Stella after the Stella Morris Resort. They named it Stella years ago and then recently found out he was a boy, but they decided they'd have to keep the name Stella. Riley was not intending on swimming with Stella, but he fell in, then tried to throw the GoPro to me. And let's just say I've never been too good at ball sports. Then had to dive down and get it. From the shoulder of the storm, all my friends will be dancing to the beach. or a dugong or a sea cow or all, all of the above? Yeah. Okay. But I, I went to poke the GoPro in the water and fell in. And um, Remember to bring a GoPro, everyone. So yeah, that's the moral of the story is if you, if you intend to film sea cows from a distance, remember to bring your GoPro. That would be the takeaway from today's lesson. I just can't believe him. <laughs> The farmer's markets were still another week away, so on the way back to the boat, we stopped by a house that looked like they had plenty of bananas and papaya to go around. We drove up their driveway and surprised a lovely elderly couple who actually grow and export their produce. They loaded us up with their ripest stuff. Yeah, it was kind of one of those things where you pay $5 and they just fill your bags up until they're overflowing. And we were just like, nah, nah, we're, we're happy with just a bunch or two, thanks. going to be a dead calm night tonight and that means no sands and mosquitoes can get out to our boat. We have to move out to sea. We're just going to anchor a lot further out so that 
uh, they can't make it out to the boat, hopefully. It's a perfect sunset. Another perfect sunset. That breeze has already picked up. <laughs> Two, but decided to hold This is impossible, I give up. Where are all your clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Can you say dada? Dada. Say mama. Dada. Mama. Dada. <laughs> and there's a fire burning on the beach and it just smells and looks so wonderful. <laughs> and Lenny's noticed it, haven't you? You've seen the big bright thing in the sky. Here on my own. Subscribe if you're new here and join us next time as we sail over to the Exumas. We're so excited to island hop this beautiful chain of islands. It'll be our last kind of hurrah before we sail north to Montauk in the States. <laughs>